It's officially the best time of the year again here in Columbia. It's USC baseball season. Welcome to this year's Capital City Sports USC baseball season preview. I'm Claudia Chikamian. And I'm Nick Proto. In today's preview, we're going to look at the pitching for the number four ranked Gamecocks. A huge strength of the Gamecocks this year will be their starting pitching. Chad Holbrook recently announced the Gamecocks opening weekend rotation. Friday night will be Clark Schmidt, Saturday will be Will Crow, and Sunday will be Adam Hill. Crow missed all of last season because of Tommy John surgery, but he spent the summer here in Columbia rehabbing with the Lexington County Blowfish. He made five appearances and went 0-1, but he's looking to rebound this season. He wants to get that ace status he established his freshman year, but the good news is he will be filling in for the absence of Braden Webb, who is now playing in the minor league system of the Milwaukee Brewers. Like you mentioned, Braden Webb, huge loss for the Gamecocks, so Will Crow is going to look to hop right in there and fill that void. One of the other pitchers, Clark Schmidt, going to be the Friday night starter. Was the Friday night starter all of last season, went 9-5 and five with a 3.4 ERA. So he's looking to regain that prowess and keep that momentum going into this year. Uh, he was voted a first team all preseason, or preseason All-American excuse me, by the uh, NCBWA. And uh, he's going to look to regain that and try to, try to build some momentum going into the weekend, you know, getting this opening start against Greensboro. And rounding out the weekend will be sophomore Adam Hill. Hill surprised everyone last season with his dominant freshman year campaign. He started off as a midweek starter, and in his career debut, he had six scoreless innings, giving up just two hits, no walks, and 11 strikeouts. Hill looks to build up some momentum during the rest of the season to prove that he is one to compete with. In the bullpen, two big seniors, Reed Scott, Josh Reagan. Those are going to be guys Coach Holbrook leads to be set up men, you know, seventh to eighth inning come that time. Uh, those guys are definitely experienced players. Uh, we leaned on them a lot last year, and that's, those are two guys that Coach Holbrook's going to be looking to when games get down the stretch. Somebody else to really look out for is junior Tyler Johnson. Johnson was phenomenal all last season, picking up that closer role, and even came in huge when the Gamecocks needed him during the regionals last season. Well, if there's one thing we could say from 2017 for the Gamecocks, it is going to be the year of the pitcher. Uh, the first, uh, first team preseason All-American, third team preseason All-American. Uh, Crow coming back from that surgery, trying to regain that, that dominance he had his freshman year. Bunch of experienced guys in the bullpen with Johnson and Scott and Reagan. So this is definitely going to be a huge year for the Gamecocks. Look for them to make a run in, in Omaha this year. That's all we have from the pitching stance of things. Before we send it off to the rest of our staff, let's send it over to some of the South Carolina baseball players to hear what they have to say about the upcoming season. I think leaving our Super Regional last year, we were all disappointed about not making it to Omaha. We were really close, um, so we really took it upon ourselves to get get out here. And um, we've been working for an awfully long time, and we're all excited to be here. And um, I think the hard work that we put in will uh, translate to games. Um, it's not anything at all. Uh, we both are. We both want to win, and that's all we're worried about. Whether it's him on Friday, me on Friday, we don't care. And I say that for both of us because we really don't. We, we want to go out and compete. We want to go out and win games. And for us to be where we want to be in five months or so, we both got to win. We can't, it's not who's the guy, who's not the guy. If he's pitching on Friday, he's the guy Friday. Well, I'm pitching on Saturday, I'm the guy Saturday. It don't matter. We just want to win games and try to help this team be the best they can be. It's, it's fun. We all, we all try to, you know, like drive each other to, to do, do well. So, uh, you know, it's just really fun getting to be on the same pitching staff as those guys and compete with them. Hi, I'm Devin Gobiel. And I'm Spencer Lee. And today we're going to be talking about your Gamecocks 2017 preseason injuries. First on the ballot, we have Hunter Taylor, a junior catcher from only Virginia, who injured his collarbone with a hairline fracture in the February 3rd Garnet and Black scrimmage. He's expected to be back by opening day, but with the battle between him and Chris Cullen at the starting catcher position, it should be a bit of an uphill battle for him. Of course, it's never easy when you're fighting for position and you get injured to start the season. So, you know, best to him. Luckily, he will be back, though, and he won't miss significant time. That's good. Very good. Uh, next on the ballot, Chase DeMars, junior college transfer, who is a junior, from Hartford, Maryland. He's a middle infielder who, on February 4th, injured his handmate bone in his hand. Uh, this is an injury that could be anywhere from three weeks, which is usually what it is, but if it's more severe than they originally thought, it could be up to six weeks, meaning he'll miss a little bit of the season, but still not too much, which is, of course, a good sign. It's never good when you break something in your hand. It's your lifeline in baseball, everything you do from hitting to pitching to catching. And the real problem with that is if you come back early, you could really make it even worse, re-injure it, and then your whole season could be out the window, and that's really not what we want. So hopefully he takes his time, 
comes back and he's ready to go whenever he gets here. You never have enough middle infielders. That's for sure. For Capital City Sports, I'm Devin Gobeal. And I'm Spencer Lee. Hi, my name's Patrick DeMar alongside Jack Taylor. And we're here to talk about some Gamecock baseball preseason rankings and players to watch. The Gamecocks are ranked fifth by USA Today and are ranked fourth by Baseball America and The Perfect Game. Junior right-handed pitcher Tyler Johnson and junior outfielder Alex Decino were named to the preseason All-SEC teams and the preseason All-American team. Also receiving preseason All-American honors were Clark Schmidt, Josh Reagan, and Will Crow, who's returning from Tommy John surgery this season. As well as Tyler Johnson and Josh Reagan, they are both named to the watch list for the Stopper of the Year award. And one final player to watch out for this year is freshman outfielder Carlos Cortez, who is expected to make a huge contribution both in the lineup and the field. And on a final note, let's hear what some of the Gamecock baseball players had to say about their upcoming season. Ever since I saw them win the 2010 National Championship, I fell in love with them. And, uh, and then I came here and saw this amazing stadium and this amazing college town. And, Ever since then, I just wanted to be a Gamecock. Um, I mean, you got you got two guys, Danny Blair and T.J. Hopkins, and even Jacob Olson. Just two, I mean, three freak athletes that are out there. I mean, they run like the wind. So I mean, it's having them out there is real nice. I mean, they track down almost every ball hit to them. So it, it's going to be a very exciting outfield this year. Hey, I'm Paige Hutchinson. And I'm Ben Parsons. And today we'll be talking about the USC baseball team and their schedule this year. Yeah, the Gamecocks have a difficult schedule, so to speak, this season, as they have the likes of LSU and Florida on the road, and they also play UNC in that one game series in Charlotte, and they play, uh, they have that typical huge series against Clemson where they have one game in Columbia, one game in Greenville, and then they play that final game back at Clemson. It's going to be interesting to see how the Gamecocks handle these pivotal series down the season. Yeah, this year we have a ton of new freshmen, and we play LSU, number two LSU, and number three Florida at their home stadiums. Mm -hmm. So we have to see how the freshmen turn out and step up for those games. We also play Vanderbilt, number six Vanderbilt, in Columbia. So that'll be a good SEC matchup for them. Yeah, and the huge thing for us this year is that we have a lot, we're really young. We have a lot of freshmen and we have a lot of sophomores who didn't play that much last season on the roster. So it's going to be interesting to see how they handle those tough situations and those pivotal moments on the road and those pressure situations. So it's really going to be what either makes or breaks the Gamecock season this year. Yeah, the season starts this Friday against UNC Greensboro at Columbia at 4 o'clock.